Although your primary goal may not be to gain approval, as a leader, you understand that likability increases your ability to influence others. With that in mind, consider the tangibles involved. First, put others at ease. Your stock rises as the anxiety of those around you declines. When someone asks a question and mispronounces a word, never embarrass them by correcting them in front of others. When a client or colleague breaches some rule of etiquette, Never call attention to their mistake by trying to correct them. No one likes to feel inadequate, ill-prepared, incapable, or uninformed. Whatever you can do to lessen someone's discomfort or help them feel accepted, smart, capable, will increase their, their perception of your own leadership and wisdom. And then be authentic. Most people will not have opportunity to follow you home and see how you act away from the job. They'll see only the on-stage demeanor. So primarily, they spot pretentious people, particularly pretentious presenters, three ways. An affected tone, overly formal, complex language, or choreographed movements and gestures. So be authentic. Speak in a natural tone with simple words and leave choreography for the dance class. And then find something in common. We like people who are like us. Give people a chance to know you personally. That may mean revealing a favorite vacation spot, or your favorite sports team, or talking about a, a life lesson learned, or just simply mentioning the struggle that you've had with, with organizing your email in your inbox. People identify with your humanity and your struggles more than with your successes. And then, don't be a prima donna. I was serving on a committee for my organization not too long ago, and I had occasion to work the green room for the event. Others in the room were hustling around trying to find a Coke with caffeine, not the sugar-free, caffeine-free kind that seemed to be, at the moment, the only variety they had stocked in the refrigerator. The host of the event frantically came into the room and says, I need to go to the supermarket ASAP and grab one for Kent. Someone else said to her, you don't have time. He'll be coming off stage in 10 minutes. Someone else on the committee says, he has to have one. He'll go berserk unless he has one waiting. The host grabbed her keys and dashed out the door. From the wild look in the host's eyes, I believed her. Sure enough, the keynoter came backstage soon as he finished with his hand extended. The Coke, the Coke, where's my Coke? When he learned that the host wasn't standing there with his Coke in hand, he dashed off from the backstage, leaving the visitors who had come there to meet him standing there, waiting. They were waiting for his autograph. He went off stage, pouted until the host came back with a Coke in hand. That's prima donna behavior. Another tip, use humor to open hearts and minds. In our presentation skills workshop, our consultants often get this question. When is it okay to use humor in a business or technical presentation? Our answer, almost always. Humor, whether in a presentation or a conversation, doesn't necessarily mean a, a joke or a one-liner. Having a sense of humor simply means the ability to use or to see life in a, a light-hearted way. Those who see everything as a matter of life and death, they tend to wear a permanent frown. They make others around them ill at ease. Your willingness and the ability to lighten up can be invaluable in positioning yourself as confident and comfortable in unscripted situations. Whether leading a project or leading a team of co-workers or just needing quick credibility with an audience, put the likability factor to work for you, not against you. In the comments section below, add other ideas for increasing the likability factor as a leader.